Hey guys, I'll show you how to write three address code for a given C program. Here we have a code snippet of matrix multiplication and it's given that we have to assume it's each byte for every element. So writing the three address code, the first line is a for loop. We have to write the initialization first, i is equal to zero, it's given. And what is the condition of the for loop? That is it's i is less than 10. If i less than 10, go to we will fill in that later. So this will be the starting of the for loop and this will be the end of the for loop. Inside this will be the code inside the loop. Let me label this L1. So before writing this line, just add i is equal to i plus 1. That is the increment so that uh, i gets incremented when it goes back. And over here you can write L1. So this is the basic for loop. Over here we have another for loop j is equal to 0, L2 j is equal to j plus 1 and if j is less than 10 go to l2 so the second for loop is done so we have written the three address code for both the for loops given here now we have to write the three address code for the two dimensional array uh, take any variable t1 and we have to write the base address of the array so that will be ampersand c so C is the name of the array, two dimensional array given here. So its base address will be taken by ampersand C and store it in the variable T1. Now take another variable T2 and multiply the first index of the array that is I into the size of the array which will be N. So over here instead of C of I and J it will be C of N and M and it should be declared in the beginning that is uh, declaration of array of size c 10 comma 10 maybe that should be there but it's not given in the question in the for loop it's given 10 as minimum value this uh, two dimensional array should have a c 10 of 10 so here i'll take instead of n i'll take it as 10 so for the third step is take uh, another variable and then uh, t2 plus j so t2 will be this value and then j is the second variable of that uh, two dimensional array and take another variable t4 which will give you the product of t3 and 8 so why this 8 is it's given in the question that I assume each element has 8 bytes so we have to multiply it by 8 generally it will be 4 but uh, since it's given here I am taking it as 8 and finally take another variable so this will be holding the actual value of the two dimensional array which is the base address t1 plus what we have uh, computed over here t4 so this will be holding c of i and j now let's move to this part of the question i'll just remove this so now we already have two for loops that is i loop and j loop now we'll write for k k is equal to 0 l3 if k is less than 10 go to l3 and k is equal to k plus 1 that is the increment so this will be the innermost loop and over here we should write the three address code for this whole line so as i already told you we have to write the three address code for each and every two dimensional array so over here let me take t1 is equal to ampersand b t2 is equal to k star 10 that is the size of the two dimensional array t3 is equal to t2 plus the second uh, index variable t4 is equal to t3 star 8 which is the byte and t5 is equal to the base address plus what we computed here so base address is t1 plus t4 this is b of k and j and we have to do this for the other two two dimensional array also okay okay so i'll name it t6 this will be a t7 i into 10 t8 t7 plus k t9 will be t8 into a and t10 will be t6 plus t9 so this will be uh, a of i and k and finally for c of i j 11 is equal to c t12 is equal to i star 10 t13 is equal to t12 plus j the second variable is j so don't need to change 
and t14 is equal to t13 star 8 and t15 is equal to t11 plus t14 this will be c of i and j it's c c of i and j so over here the k for loop gets over we have just written three address code of the two dimensional array but we have to compute it so this represents the whole two dimensional array we have to multiply this with this so take another variable t16 is equal to t5 star t10 t5 star t10 so this will be this whole thing and t17 is equal to t15 which is uh, c of ij plus what we computed over here t16 so this gives the whole thing okay and finally we have to save this whole thing back to c of ij so in that case we already have c of ij which is t15 over here so since you are saving it back to the uh, original array you have to take the pointer over here so star t15 is equal to t17 so this will be so this will be the three address code of the whole program over here so there is also quadruple representation so how to do that is just create a table number operation argument 1 argument 2 and then result ok I will write the quadruple representation for the first instruction which is i is equal to 0 for i is equal to 0 we have the first instruction operation is just assignment equal to argument 1 is 0 result is i in this case just an example we have to write for each and every line but I am just skipping it for the second instruction just write the number 2 the operation is multiplication the first argument is k second argument is 10 and the result is t2 we have to follow the same thing for every instruction given over here that will be the quadruple representation so thank you so much for listening guys if this video has helped you share it to your friends and do subscribe to my channel and also like this video